Eye on China, first-hand perspectives on a quickly changing society. Hello and welcome to Eye on China. I'm Natalie So. This past weekend, Taiwan saw the inauguration of President Ma Ying-jeou for his second term. But we weren't the only ones listening to Ma's speech. People in China were also curious about what the president had to say about relations with the mainland, and we here in Taiwan are curious about what they think of President Ma Ying-jeou. Today, I talk with a social media analyst at e magazine Tea Leaf Nation, Ye Jieting, who watches what people are saying about Taiwan on Chinese social media. This is what Ye had to say about what the Chinese are saying about Ma's inauguration. So first, I would just like to say that I think at no point in history can we see more of what individual、uh, people in China think about Taiwan, and I think in no point in history can people in China see the elections and how democracy has been working in Taiwan. So I think it's very exciting. And in terms of what the reactions have been online to、uh, President Ma's inauguration,、uh, I think it, there's two main. Themes. I think one is on President Ma and the KMT's cross straits policy, in,、uh, specifically, and also on Taiwan's democracy in general. I, I thought what、mm-hmm. you said in the very beginning was very interesting. Why is it that at no point in history,、uh, you know, the two sides of the strait can watch each other or, or be connected in this way? Well, I think one because there's more interaction on the personal level between the both sides, and also、um, just because of the advance in technology. That allow、um, people to have a lot more access to information. That's really interesting. So we also, you know, especially this past weekend, we had、um, protests and inauguration speech. What did you see about、uh, mainlanders' reaction?、Um, so I think for the most part, they have very good things to say about President Ma Ying-jeou. They're mostly favorable of、uh, his cross-strait stance of conciliation and finding、uh, common points. My opinion is that I think so far, people in China, as far as I have seen, their view of Taiwan's politics is sort of more simplified to KMT equals unification equals that's good, versus DPP equals no unification equals bad. And so maybe as time goes on, those views will get more、uh, complicated. As they get to understand what goes on in Taiwan、uh, more. But、um, I know that I did talk to your colleague Rachel, and、sure. they seemed quite touched, actually, by our, I think our democracy, and、um, you know even the fact that we have、uh, you know opposition candidate. She was surprised that people are actually praising opposition candidate Tsai Ing-wen, and especially her concession speech.、Um, I, I think it's probably because of the democracy.、Um, so, do you think that this? Can also influence their thoughts towards unification.、Uh, I did see a comment on your website saying that you know one Chinese person said if Ma were to reunify with China, he would be the biggest sinner in in Chinese history because he would be putting Taiwan under an authoritarian regime again. So, do you think that、uh, people in China are becoming more savvy? I think towards the unification issue and not just seeing it as Taiwan just has to be, become a part of us. I think it's a good development that more、um, people in the PR are seeing what a version of democracy could look like in a Chinese-speaking society. For the most part, I think people are very impressed with the way the 2012 elections will run, and as you mentioned, Tsai Ing-wen's、uh, concession speech. And I think、uh, over time that will、um, make the views in China about the cross-strait issue a lot more nuanced and a lot more、uh, complex. But you see, overall, people are still very pro unification. That's the main sense I see. Yes. What do they think of President Ma's、um, speech? I know that he mentioned one Republic of China in two areas, which is、uh, Taiwan's version of a one China policy, but it's recognizing, you know, our country as that one China. So, what do they think of him trying to get around the one China issue this way? Um. So I haven't seen.、Um Much commenting on that issue specifically,、um, mm. I think most people welcome his stance. But as I mentioned, I think that's because I think they just associate him, his party, with pro unification. So、um, I guess they're happy that Ma is leaning in their direction. 
You can put it that way. Uh, I would say so, yeah. <laughs> well, what do they think of, you know, the fact that we had so many protests and, you know, on, on Saturday, um, Sunday, people were even, like, throwing eggs at Ma and Joe's poster and what do they think of that facet of democracy in Taiwan? So one person did say, you know, I uh, I wish my children well, which is why I don't want them to become president in Taiwan because they seem to deal in nothing but, you know, drowning in the voices and, you know, the things that people say to, you know, the, the, all the criticisms. But I think for the most part, people were impressed, maybe even a little envious that they can be very openly critical of their leaders, whereas, you know, in China, everything is a lot more, you know, formulaic, more formal, and obviously it's a very different picture if you want to be critical of the government. With all the exposure to Taiwan's democracy, I also talk with Ye Jinting about whether people are talking about democracy for China on China's social media. Next. Hey, what are those buttons on RTI's new website for? Those are for Facebook, Twitter, and other social media. You can share RTI content with the click of a button. You mean like this? Yep, just like that. Visit english.rti.org.tw. You are listening to Eye on China, and I am Natalie So. Taiwan just inaugurated President Ma Ying-jeou for his second term over the weekend. And I am talking with a social media watcher from the e-magazine Tea Leaf Nation, Ye Jinting, who keeps an eye on what people are saying about Taiwan on Chinese social media. Now, since the Chinese have witnessed democracy on Taiwan's side, are they talking about democracy for China? This is what Ye had to say. There is a little bit. I don't think the discussions, the discussion so far has not been too in-depth. Um, I think, again, most people are sort of more favorable they're sort of impressed that, hey, you know, look, Taiwan, they can elect their own leaders and they can criticize their leaders and they can just say, say you know, bad things about their leaders whenever they want. As to whether or not they want that for China, I think there's it's sort of a general sense of, hey, you know, that's kind of nice. I don't think anybody's come out and said, we should have that right here, right now in China. Hmm. Do you follow the activists on, Ch- on Weibo? We do. I don't know if um, they've reacted to the inauguration speech too much um, this time around. Well, I recently talked to one called Cheng Yong Miao. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, he seems very ad- I mean, very confident that China will see democracy one day. Of course, he doesn't know when, but, um, I mean, do you see that kind of a, a spirit in China, or do you think people are more resigned to the fact that this is the way, you know, the authorities are. They're authoritarian, and it's probably always going to be like that. What kind of, di- uh, you know, voices do you do you perceive on, on Weibo in, in that regard? I feel like it's uh, maybe a mix, a little bit of a mixed bag. Um, I think most people are at the stage of, hey, that's nice. And there are also a few voices that are more cynical or sort of more doubtful. They're saying, you know, this is, yeah, I know they, they can do this, but it's, you know, still sort of a you know, sort of just for show. And, you know, I think some people are still a little bit dubious as to how much sort of real democracy Taiwan really has. Really? You mean they doubt it? Um, I think they're just, it's sort of, you know, well, yes, like they can they can have the system, but then, you know, officials are still going to be corrupt and they're going still going to, they're still going to take advantage of you, right? So, mm. And, of course, you know, I think people in China are, um, well, a number of people are saying, Yes, you know, what we see is, you know, good, but then, you know, we understand that there may be other sort of darker things that we just don't know yet. Mm, so they, they're more practical, huh? <laughs> or cynical. Um, I guess you can say that, yeah. <laughs> they don't have any, uh, what do you call, illusions about politics <laughs> in general. Okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm just curious what the general sentiment um, has been about mm-hmm. the inauguration and then... And mind you. So you would say that most of the people have a favorable image of President Ma in, in China? Uh, I, would, I would say so, yes. So President Ma Zhou seems quite popular in mainland China, but he currently does face many challenges here at home with some domestic issues. That was social media analyst Ye Jinting of the e-magazine Tea Leaf Nation, which makes sense of China through social media.